back to another episode of Guardian Ferret Gaming. I'm your host, the Guardian Ferret, and today we're covering some of the hottest titles for the Nintendo Switch, uh, some of the most um, popular titles for the Nintendo Switch. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Our first game is a very, very popular game and a highly anticipated game that came out this year. This is Octopath Traveler, a traditional um, JRPG, and the fact that you can change out your party members, uh, have different... Um, different job roles and different subclasses and things like that. Um, essentially, you have eight different characters. Um, I won't go ahead and list them all, I'll just let you watch the gameplay and do the research on your own. But um, The stories sometimes they tie together, tie, there are a few stories that tie in together, but uh, for the most part, uh, they all have something relatively to do with each other, but they don't all come together at the end. Uh, spoiler alert, sorry. Um, I'll just let you have to, you'll just have to play the game for yourself. And, um, fun fact, the word Octopath actually has, um, each one of the, the names of the, uh, excuse me, each one of the letters of Octopath is the first initial of the first name of each one of the characters. Uh, for example, you have O for Ophelia, uh, C for Cyrus, uh, you get the idea. Um, anyway, I'm um, going to go ahead and let you watch some gameplay. This is a great game. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing it. I have over, I believe, 65 hours in this game. Um, other people have more, but... Um, oh, and this was also developed by Square Enix, so... Um, Square Enix has rarely ever let us down. Um, we're not going to talk about I Am Setsuna, but so far this game has done fantastic in the... I guess game office, not box office, but with fans, it's done a great job. Anyway, give it a look and let me know what you think in your comments below. <laughs> I see. Alright, next up we have My Hero Wants Justice, the long-awaited game to the anime show My Hero Academia. Uh, this is an arena-style fighting game. Um, as you can see, you're not actually side-scrolling, you're going all over this uh, arena in different uh, places that you can battle. There are ring-out arenas and there are just stand arenas where you get knocked against like this one. But you can play... Uh, I think 13 or 14 characters uh, throughout the game, and there is talk amongst uh, fans that there may be like, um, more characters coming out soon. Which would be great, there are plenty more characters that we have just been introduced to that we would love to be able to play as. Uh, there is a story mode for heroes, and there, once you beat that, there is a story mode for the villains, which you can play the opposite side. Overall, this game at first was a little disappointed, but then after. I started playing as Todoroki, and I was wrecking everybody I came across. Uh, I was having a lot of fun. Um, you're always fun when you, you're always having more fun when you're winning. Um, side note: uh, Right when I started playing, I was playing as Bakugo, and I thought he'd be great. And it takes a little bit to get used to his character, but uh, in the end, it, it came out a lot better with Todoroki or um, Shira. Um, anyway, I'll go ahead and let you watch the gameplay. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below, and hopefully in the future we'll see some more DLC for this. Uh, right now there's only a couple of DLCs. There's a free shoot-style costume for um, Midoriya, and there is you can download Endeavor for a dollar, and then there are two more missions that you can get. I'm not sure what they are, but I imagine they keep up to date with the anime. Anyway, uh, give it a watch and let me know what you think. 
Next on the list, we have Shining Resonance Reframe. Uh, this game is also available on the PS4, but I rather would have it portable just because it's the Switch and portable games, as well as being able to play on the TV so much better than just the TV, which is why we all have a Switch now. Um, this is a role-playing action game developed by Sega. Uh, the only thing that didn't do it for me with this game was that there is no jump button. I love a jump button. Anybody that knows me lo knows that I love having a jump function. But unfortunately, there is one in here. There's a back step button, there's a side step button, but there's no jump button. Anyway, uh, it's real-time combat. Uh, you have to initiate the combat whenever you run into somebody. There's usually a field of view where you come into view of the guards and... Um, you have to initiate the combat by striking them or moving close to them. Anyway, I'll uh, let you take a look at the, uh, the gameplay. And um, there is this is just a story mode game. There's no side uh, story or side missions or anything. I don't know if we're going to have any DLC soon, but we'll see in the future. Anyway, take a look and let me know what you think in the comments below. Sonia, this is no simple delay. Has she abandoned? Storming the gates will do me no good. I'll have to find a different route to the rendezvous point. There she is! That's the Astoria hey, Knight! You okay? All right, next up we have Xenoblade Chronicles 2, the sequel to the first Xenoblade Chronicles, which is only available on the uh, Wii U, I believe. Or no, I'm sorry, Wii and the new 3DS. Unfortunately, I was not able to get this for my 
the first one for my regular uh, 3DS. I have the original model and not the new updated one that has Amiibo support and everything else and the bigger screen. Anyway, this was developed by Monolith Soft and it is a uh, story-driven RPG game. Uh, Role-playing game game, yeah. <laughs> um, you play as Rex and uh, I guess Pyra. She's your main blade. Uh, if you play the game, you'll understand more to it. You can unlock more blades. There are extra side quests that you can do and different little missions that you have uh, just to progress through the story. But so far, the game has been very fun. It's getting rave reviews from everything from Game Informer to um, IGN. Uh, Everywhere, every every reviewer is giving a great uh, review for this game so far, and I'm having a lot of fun playing it. The only thing I don't like about it, my only uh, reserve I have against this game is that it's not real-time combat. You have to be in the proximity of the enemy, and then you automatically attack. And there's special moves that you can initiate once you have enough power up to those special moves. Anyway, give it a look and let me know what you think in the comments below. Congratulations. Okay, next we have Yamawari, um, the Long Night Collection. So this has the Long Night and also Midnight Shadows. Um, this is developed by NIS America, which has developed a lot of games for the PS Vita. And this is originally a port from the PS Vita and the PS4. Um, they didn't have the collection for the PS Vita, but I originally had Midnight Shadows for my PS Vita, and when I saw this was coming to Switch, I immediately traded it in, and I was ready to play the play this on the big screen and on the go, instead of switching the cartridge out from my PS TV to my PS Vita and back and forth. That would have been a nightmare. Anyway, uh, you are playing as two young girls, and you can either play as Yui or Haru. Uh, it looks like and you're looking for uh, your sister in the middle of the night and your friend in one game, your sister in the other game. Um, it starts off with a real creepy vibe. Um, this is rated mature. Um, I thought it was teen, but it's rated mature, and rightly so. There is At the beginning of each one of these games, there is something that just throws you right out of the chair, and it is super creepy and a lot of jump scares, a lot of pop-up things. Um, you have to hide and things like that to hide from the monsters. A lot of the, the monsters that you meet in here are traditional uh, scary Japanese type monsters that they put in a lot of anime games. Um, all black stuff with a lot of eyes that you can see right now. Um, all gray and things like that. And they're chasing you through the streets. Anyway, I'll let you take a look and um, you're... It says... Uh, before we go any further, it says... I'm going through the game info right now. Traverse the haunting world of Yamawari Night Alone as a young girl searches for her sister or share the terror-facing schoolgirls Yui and Hari, Haru and Yamawari Midnight Shadows. 
uncover the mysteries plaguing a rural Japan town, Japanese town, hiding, hide from things lurking in the night, and maybe get home alive. And yes, this is a creepy game. So give it a look. All right, guys, that's going to do it for now. Um, stay tuned for some more videos. There's some more Switch stuff coming and no more PS4 stuff and trying to get the other systems going. Uh, just got to get something else to convert to the Elgato. Anyway, thanks. Uh, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Whoa, whoa. Give me something to forget. Everything she want to be lying right under her bed. All they want the greens. We're too busy running reds. Honey, is another step. I'm the man they never met. We in the lion's den, need it, we supply it, rode the back of this Leviathan.